GPX glass processors are capable of making various optical fiber components to serve a wide variety of scientific industries such as medical device manufacture, astronomy, spectroscopy, telecommunications, fiber laser manufacture, and sensing. GPX series glass processors are used to develop and execute precise and repeatable glass processing methods for a wide range of these applications. Bundling fibers into a single glass envelope is an important step in creating many fiber optic components, such as power combiners, photonic lanterns, and illuminators. Many fibers may be bundled within an envelope. In this video, we will demonstrate how a GPX can be used to form a taper bundle with seven independent fibers inside a glass capillary tube. While there are several ways to form a bundle, one common method can be completed in four main steps. First, a glass capillary tube is pre-tapered to match the size of the bundled bare fibers. Then, the stripped fibers are held together and inserted into the pre-tapered tube. Next, heat is applied to collapse the tube around the fibers, and the bundle is drawn to the desired final diameter. Finally, the tapered bundle can be cleaved at its output end. The degree to which the fibers are fused can be controlled when a recipe is developed. To begin the pre-taper, a capillary tube appropriate for the application must be selected. The capillary should have an inner diameter before it is pre-tapered, which can contain all of the coated fibers bundled together. Then, the capillary should be pre-tapered so that the inner diameter at the waist will fit all of the bare fibers bundled together. For more information on tapering using GPX, please view the dedicated video in the notes. Here we are making a bundle of 7 fibers with 250 micron coating diameter and 125 micron cladding diameter. The capillary tube should have a starting inner diameter over 750 microns and a waist inner diameter a bit larger than 375 microns. For this demonstration, a capillary with 800 micron inner diameter will easily accommodate the 750 micron bundled coated fibers. When the tube is tapered down by a 2 to 1 taper ratio, that will result in a 400 micron inner waist diameter which will easily contain the 375 micron bare fiber bundle. When setting the starting and waist diameters for a capillary tube, the inner diameters may be input as the taper dimensions as shown here. Equivalently, the capillary outer diameter and same taper ratio may be used to calculate the outer diameter at the waist. Once the pre-taper properties are set, move the motors to the loading positions and take a baseline reading of the tension. Typical processing requires a T-type taper filament remaining in the up position with the capillary loaded by feeding through the housing. After the capillary is loaded, tension is applied to the capillary tube, and the Taper Mark II process executes the pre-taper. Once the pre-taper has completed, the fibers can be prepared for bundling. The fibers can be taped together to maintain relative position. Mark the appropriate strip length on all fibers. Then, each fiber is stripped and cleaned. The fibers are assembled together in the GPX CFXL combiner loading fixture in the vertical loading position. Isopropyl alcohol is dropped down the fibers to allow the surface tension to tightly pack them. Once the fibers are fully dry, the loading fixture is lowered to the horizontal position. 
The adjustment screws can be used to align the bundle to the opening of the capillary. A few drops of IPA are wicked into the capillary tube to act as a lubricant. Then the fibers are inserted into the capillary tube, which is held in the left GPX fiber holding block. The bundle and capillary can then be threaded through the filament and clamped in the fiber holding blocks. Connecting a vacuum to the other end of the capillary for several minutes helps remove any residual IPA. Next, the GPX will be used to collapse the capillary onto the bundle and taper it to the target waist size. The filament power and fiber holding block movements are controlled by taper parameters in a new file. For this bundle taper, the starting diameter is the outer diameter of the pre-taper waist. In this demonstration, that is 550 microns. Or, a more accurate value can be measured using the measurement guides. The waist of this taper is determined by the application for which the fiber bundle will be used. For instance, whether the bundle needs to be spliced to another fiber to form a power combiner, or mounted in a ferrule for an illumination application. The taper should be drawn while the vacuum is attached to the capillary. This promotes a more even collapse of the capillary during the taper process. After the fiber holding blocks have been moved to the start positions, the GPX can apply a predetermined tension and the taper will be executed without further user intervention. Once the bundle taper is complete, the final step will be to cleave the waste to form the output end of the bundle. If the GPX is equipped with an integrated cleaver, it can be used to cleave the fiber bundle. For GPX 3400 or GPX 3600 without an integrated cleaver, an external cleaver, such as LDC 401 or LDC 450B, can be used to make the cleave. For more information on cleaving using an LDC, See the dedicated video in the notes. The splice head will move to the cleave position, and the fiber holding blocks will draw tension and pause while the user positions the micrometer backstop. The micrometer backstop guide will turn red if the fiber is deflected by the backstop. The cleave blade advances forward so that it is close to, but not touching, the outer edge of the bundle. It then oscillates forward and back, edging forward, until it just nicks the bundle, forming a scribe mark. The tension along the bundle then causes the scribe mark to propagate as a cleave across the bundle. The cleaved fiber bundle can then be inspected for quality before being integrated into a device. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us at tech support at thorlabs.com or vitran.uk at thorlabs.com.